Hey everybody, hope and pray that you're doing well today. So we come to our word from the word. And today that word is comfort. Comfort. Uh, it's really hard to think of another psalm that gives more comfort than Psalm 23. And that's where we're at today as we've been going through these psalms daily uh, the past couple of weeks. And so thinking about all the psalms, and there's a lot of verses here and there and portions of scripture throughout, but especially in the book of Psalms, this is definitely one of the most uh, probably well-known, uh, one that's recited at funerals quite often, uh, one that is, it's just a, it gives an encouragement like no others. There's plenty of, of scriptures that give comfort, but it's just something special about Psalm 23. And let's just, let's just jump right in today and, and read the passage. And we're going to read all of Psalm 23 today. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It's, it's so many things to speak on in this psalm and so many different portions that do give comfort. It'd be hard to just kind of pick one thing. But I think collectively, just to look at it as one piece, to think about what David must have been feeling. What, what he must have been feeling at that moment. I mean, have you ever just stopped and thought about that? He says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death and, and even a, a table, we think, okay, well, the enemy is going to be gone. But he says, look, it's the valley of the shadow of death. Then he says, he's even going to put a table there in the presence of his enemies. See, the thing is, a lot of times that I believe that we, we think that God has always got to rescue us completely, like pull us completely out of the circumstances. And that sometimes that happens. But more times than not, he just walks with us through whatever we're going through. He guides and protects through the trial, through the circumstance. So many examples in scripture, but I always go back to the Red Sea first. To think about the Israelites as they were going through. He didn't, he could have just picked them all up, put them on the other side. And don't say that he couldn't have done it because we know he could. He could have made a bridge, let him walk over. Isn't that what we want? We want a bridge to go over our trouble. We want to bypass it. Well, God, you could have just sent us another way. We'll accept the trouble, but we don't want to accept the trouble that's right before us. God, I don't want to go through this valley. I want to go around on that other hill over there. That valley doesn't look quite as low as this one. The enemy doesn't look quite as strong over there. But instead, what happened with the Israelites and the Red Sea? He parted the Red Sea. He went with them. Pillar of fire and pillar of cloud in front of them, guiding them. And then came around to protect them from the enemy as well. Till every last one was through the water. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. That should bring us great encouragement to that. Great comfort. To know that no matter what you're facing, no matter what the enemy has in store for you, doesn't mean that God's going to take you out of the circumstance. Does not mean that, that God is just going to just, you know, 
blink his eye, you know, do the, I, I, I'm trying to think of what I want to say, but I, I, I think back on the old bewitch thing or uh, uh, even, uh, you know, she did a little nose twitch and I dream a genie would do the little hand tossing, uh, hand crossing thing and, and, and just blink her eyes or whatever. And it would just magically disappear. That's what we think. That's the way we think a lot of times that God is going to operate. Now, he can do things in the moment. Yes, absolutely. He has the power to do it. But we know that's not the typical way that he works. He works by walking us through the valley. Not just making it all disappear. But he makes it so that we can bear it. That's what comfort is. Comfort is enabling us to bear it. When you go to a grieving family, you're there to comfort them. You, you can't take any of the burden away from them. But you help come alongside them. You help give them the strength to endure a little longer. Why? Because they know they're not alone. And that's the same thing that God does for us on a daily basis. If we'll seek after him. He'll come and he'll guide you and he'll walk you, sometimes carrying you through the valley. There's no greater comfort than knowing that. God bless you. And I pray you have a great, great day.